Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our live stream theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family, bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see, delightful snacks to nibble, a fun, pleasant evening for all. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. Hey kids, how would you like to hear this on the screen instead of the great show you came to see? That's what you sound like, honest. Please cooperate and do your part in keeping this theater quiet so everyone, including you, can enjoy it. Now remember, lots of adults and kids too paid admission to enjoy the show. We must insist on absolute quiet. Otherwise, we will be forced to evict all disturbance makers from the theater. Those asked to leave today will be refused admission to this theater in the future. Thank you. CBS Saturday Night Movies. This gentleman saved this little girl's life, but they accused him of harming her. Do this ourselves. And he was tragically murdered. Now, one by one, the men of this town are dying. Who is his avenger? Is it the dead man's grief-stricken mother? They killed my boy! The little girl who loved him. I know what you did to Baba. Or could it be the Scarecrow? Dark Night of the Scarecrow. Coming up next. Now, only one minute till showtime. For your convenience, the refreshment stand will remain open during the show.
on, let's go. Set it up. Yes, One to the right. Now straight ahead. No mines ahead of you. Move it. Your turn. Come on. Is ready? Cut that out. You're getting on my nerves. Keep your cool stone. I'm not even gonna lie to it. Decided to quit smoking. How's Farmer doing? Doc says sir degree, right to the bone. Well get choppers. Farmer won't even be able to ride a bike for the next two months. So who's gonna fly us? Who gives a damn? 
It's there, Bowie. As long as I got my two big ones on the first. <laughs> well, Farmer Shaw got the short end. <laughs> the short end of what? Why don't you just say it? Wesley is a bloody bastard. He's the most... At ease, man. Obib, when you refer to me, you call me Captain or Sir. Okay? Now, according to you, why am I such a bastard? You only gave her three minutes this time. It's ridiculous. Somebody was bound to fuck up. I'll take your observation into account. How's it going, Stone? I think I'll take another five seconds off. Take off ten. Usual, sir? Maybe you feel like placing those explosives yourself, sir. Yes, that would make you very happy, wouldn't it, Stone? I'll think it over. Sir. I've got enough trouble without my men messing around. Thank you. Captain Wesley, Captain Wesley, please come to the radio room. Captain Wesley, please come to the radio room. I can't figure him out at all. Well, why bother? Isn't the size of his balls big enough? Who's arguing? Uh-oh. I read you loud and clear. Hold the line. Captain? It's Hong Kong. Thank you. Wesley here. Yes, I'll be airborne in 15 minutes. Oh, tell Charlton I've got a problem. I need another pilot. Over. Kowalski? Hm. I'll open. I know the captain split. I say he'll come back with a ghost sign. Well, look who's here again. How come he never says anything? He only opens his mouth when he drinks. He's trying to drown an ugly memory. The only problem is that his memory can outswim Mark Spitz. <laughs> 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 Sorry to bring this up, fellas, but there's one little formality we need to take care of before we get this mission underway. I have the... I've had enough of you. Don't talk to me again, you vulture, or I'll blow your face off. Are we playing poker or what? I'll take two. Three. Look, chaps, just in case you don't come back, who do you want your 30,000 pounds sent to? Klein? Oh, buddy, I'm coming back to collect them myself. Arbib? User. Ah, yes, Angia Arbib, Kibbutz Jarem, Jericho. One. Two, three hundred to see. Yes, thank you. Hello, boys. Everything Hi, okay? Just fine. Well, where is it? Where's my orchid, Captain? Ah, oh, Sarah, that's two I owe you. Next time, I promise. Mr. Brenner, Captain Wesley here for you. Very good. Well, where is it? Let him in. <laughs> the old 45, huh? Hello, Wesley. Come on in. Did I ever tell you, you're the only one that ever gets in here wearing a gun? You know why? 
You've made some changes. Mm -hmm. They could shoot a missile at me now, and I wouldn't even spill my cup of coffee. I see that's still there. Of course. You don't like the idea that I can get out of here unnoticed, do you? Someone could also get in here unnoticed, you know. Who? You or Charlton, maybe? Tell me, apart from the pilot, are you ready? Yes, we're all set. <clears throat> I've told Charlton to get in touch. Fletcher wants to meet you before he gives the green light. What's he coming here? Hardly. We meet on an unmarked junk out in the bay. Shades of Bogart. <laughs> That's Americans for you. The only serious thing we've ever done is revolt against your king. Since then, it's all been Hollywood, Hollywood. <laughs> moment with you is the Charlton. Is everyone here? Mm-hmm. You coming? I'm making sure nobody drops in on your meeting. You'd never pass up the chance of killing someone, would you, Charlton? The best way to keep a mouth shut. That's the diplomatic way. Ah, Captain Wesley. I. How are Hello, you? Oh, how do you do? Mr. Fletcher? Glad to meet you. Mr. Fletcher is now running DEA operations here in the Far East. And I believe you've already met the governor's assistant. Hello, Baldwin. Well, still angry at me? Would you like a drink, Captain? No, thank you. Well, I see you've got the cream of the crop here. Your people have been in uh, every major conflict for the last 15 years, official or otherwise. We didn't win them all. Well, this one is not official, Captain. Although we do have a rather large investment going here. Set your mind at ease. I'll vouch for Captain Wesley. He'll get things done. That's why we put this in your hands. Huh. After all, a front must have responsibilities, too. <laughs> Don't forget, Mr. Brenner will be open to reprisals. Don't worry, Baldwin. I rather enjoy playing the role of the crusading philanthropist. Can I get on with the subject, please? Thank you. Well, it's this way, Captain. You don't know me, and you've never seen me. Neither my country nor any of the other governments involved will ever recognize your operation officially. We get paid. That's explanation enough. Is it me or the method you don't like? Would you like the straight answer? Forget it. My informers will give me the final word tomorrow. If everything looks okay, we go. That's him. He's a pain in the ass. Get him near a woman and I bet you there'll be trouble. He's smuggled more goods into this colony than all the junks in Southeast Asia. He still has two years to serve. Well, I need him. If he comes, he doesn't go back to prison, OK? I'm supposed to assist you, Wesley, but I strongly disapprove. Robin, listen. The other pilot is just as good. He's a stunt pilot. Flying through five wars is slightly different. I want him. You know what? I should have retired.
I hear you can make a helicopter do just about anything. Wrong address, fella. I spray rice patties. That's not what they say. Rumors. What do you want from me? We want to go into the triangle and uh, burn a little opium. It's two days' work against two years in jail. People in the triangle aren't very nice. What's the secret word, Travis? Try money. Your turn, Charlton. Diana should have to pay for it. what's not her fault. I think we should at least see her around. See you when I get back. Careful, my friend. You've got a damn difficult job. Let personal grudges take over, and you're lost. I wouldn't like to lose you. I'll bear it in mind. Another drink, sir. No, thanks. I'm leaving. All right. from the satellite, and just as you figured. Do you know how the defense system works? The general has radar all along his so-called territory, 360 degrees. Anything that tries to get in gets scanned. Planes, helicopters, hot air balloons, you name it. What do you think of my idea of hijacking the chopper? <laughs> in his own territory? Very cute. <laughs> relatives from East Europe. Uh-uh. He was behind you when you picked me up. Let's get rid of him, shall we? Robin, the 
those two guys were supposed to protect you. Protect us? <laughs> I say, isn't that funny? Come on, Captain. We got it, mate. We got Wyatt Earth. <laughs> well, what's the word, Captain? We move out now. Scheme four. Good. I never liked walking. How's the boat, Stone? Ah, oh, we worked on the motor. It's real quiet now. Just beautiful, Captain. Good. Get the gear. Yes, sir. Come on, let's go. I couldn't stand up sitting around anyway. Your anymore. men always so happy when they know they're about to get killed? Stop no shrapnel, buddy. Depends on who's wearing. <laughs> Are you guys waiting for the uh, general's welcoming committee? Well, if it's not them, it could be the Khmer or the thieves. In this hellhole, everyone is at war with everyone else. It's the opium. I thought the general headed the whole operation. Yeah, he's the greatest son of a bitch of them all. And he's surrounded by a crowd of rapists, thieves, and killers. Hmm. Yeah, well, that means a lot coming from a man like you. <laughs> I'm on the right side now. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> this your whole army? It'll do. And my helicopter? We're picking it up now. Okay. Captain. Well, I'm used to being addressed as Colonel. Lots of times. Why do I get the feeling Charlie's watching us? Because it's his jungle. All right, move on. Yes. Who paid them? No one. They've been fighting the general for years. For three good reasons. Opium, poverty, and the oppression it brings. Hmm. Idealists, the worst kind. Can you trust them? Could you guide us through this jungle, Colonel? Hey, Pug, the other way. Sabadee, Kim. Sabadee, Captain. I see you make it. Yeah. We're all happy you Please. can make it. You get me? Set? Yes, Captain. Good. This way, Captain. Okay.
See that watchtower? Yeah. Well, that's it. Is that the base? I think it's down in a quarry. Right? Hmm. This way. Let's go. Soil is packed full of mines. Yeah. What do you think of your helicopter? As a bird, she's great. I wouldn't trust the mechanics. What are you, a racist or something? Don't trust the mechanics. Don't trust the guerrillas. Racist? I've had three wives of Oriental extraction. Not counting the wives of others. Quiet. It's your turn. Mm -hmm. Kowalski hit the radio shack, OK? Mm -hmm. Steve, you jump the dormitory, second hut on the right. They're all fast asleep. Shouldn't give you too much trouble. Yes, sir. Watch this. Stone, lead off. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good shot.
All clear, Captain. Go. You OK? So let's go. Well, now I can let you have this model for $9.95, six months warranty, and... Lay uh... off. Don't you think it's costing up already? OK? I think so. You didn't exactly waste any energy, did you? I'm a pilot, not a goddamn commando. How long will it take? About two minutes. Stone! Yes, sir? Is everything all right? Yes, sir. Help Travis get the chopper Roger. ready. Hot that. Look, my good. Captain, he gets free in the arm. Then take it out. Junk. Oh. All right, take it out, but take it easy. Take it easy. Ah, <clears throat> shit! Go ahead, Wild Keys. Oh. Oh. Material requisitioned. Operation is go. Oh. Over and out. You know the orders. Good luck, Captain. Until it hits the red, we ain't taking off. We gotta give her a little time. Hey, can you go call? Yep, okay. Is everybody on board? Yes. Close. Better not try that again. This time the conflicting interests are enormous. You know what that means. Yes, but chances are Wesley will get the job done. That's why he was chosen, isn't it? Precisely. Don't look now, but Fletcher is dropping in for a chat. Excuse me, but uh, they got the chopper. That's good news. Yeah, I can smell the opium burning now. It won't be that easy. Hey, maybe you're right. Maybe we should get down to base camp. Give them a hand in case they need it. What do you think? Always got a finger near the panic button, haven't you, Pledger? Very commendable. Yeah, like a Boy Scout, always prepared. Let's go. My game today is pretty bad. All right, let's call this one a draw. No winner, no loser. Uh, excuse me, but uh, may I? Be my guest. Oh. That. Probably been on the radar screen for a half hour now. Yeah. Thằng lão hiện như lên cốc này trò lão.
นั้นต้องรายงานฐานทัพด่วนฐานทัพรับทราบฐานทัพรับทราบเดี๋ยวมาเชื่อครับที่นี่ฐานทัพได้ส่งเฮลิคอปเตอร์มาหรือเปล่าที่นี่ฐานทัพที่นี่ฐานทัพได้ส่งเฮลิคอปเตอร์มาหรือเปล่าที่นี่ฐานทัพที่นี่ฐานทัพเราจะส่งเฮลิคอปเตอร์ไปให้ทันทีที่นี่ฐานทัพเราจะส่งเฮลิคอปเตอร์ไปให้ทันทีเ
What the hell is all this stuff? Manasseh's refinery. Blow it. Everything? Yes. The contract said only the star holders. And we'll put in a bit of overtime. Come on. More. Do it. My goodness, you're a useful man after all. <laughs> I'll play babysitter. Get to work. <laughs> You'll be all right. Hold this. I'll take care of him. Okay. Come on. Okay, man. Okay, man. I've got gotcha. you. Get down. It's gonna blow up any minute. This man. It's not wonder. Radio still working? Don't know. Looks like it might be. You know how to use this? Do I know how to shave? Kowalski should be on the line. Tell him we've cleaned up. Kowalski. Kowalski, this is Wild Geese. Do you read me? Get out. Kowalski. Operation completed. ETA at home base in two hours. Tell Hong Kong to start counting out the bucks. Over and out. little holes.
No matter what, we don't hit ladies. Is that clear? That man was traitor. That man friend of General. Why'd you kill him? To stop him from talking, is that why? Easy. There's not enough of us to be fighting against each other. I thought you liked choppers. Why'd you leave it unguarded? He just came over to save my life. Would you rather have a helicopter or a man? Move out. Junk, Junk, Walgi speaking over. Come in, Walgis. Junk, where the hell have you been? Operation cleaning is done. Wild geese will be coming home and I'll be with them. Out. Get out of here. Go on. You son of a bitch! Why? Me, son of a bitch, help you! But soldier, if not dead, help General! Shit! Hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop, 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 stop! What's the rush? Okay, let's take five. Hey, Chang. Okay. Fernando, my lung don't mind. Come. Okay. Bye, bye. okay. How's it going, Stone? This guy's an ace captain. I've sewn up men before, but I don't think we need it this time. <laughs> Why don't we dump her? We've got enough cover with Stone. Did you see the holes in her arm? She's bound to pull some other shit and really get us fucked. You want to shoot her, Arby? Order me to shoot her and I'll shoot her. Got a cigarette? Kim, cigarello. You want to tell me about yourself? My name's Kathy Rupps. I used to work on a paper in Canada. What are you doing here? I came to interview the general. It would have made a great story. He thought I'd make a great hostage. Why is that? Money, I guess. Maybe I'm not worth anything. Hey, bang man, bang man, Daniela. Hey, bang man, bang man, Daniela. Lo bang. Phu Gong, Luke Nong, Phu Bo, Wa, Kai, Sir Chen Nong, Ma, Kai, Lu Bung, Ma, Lang, Ni. What did he say? Khan's whole army is looking for us. They're everywhere. So what do we do? Me tea some mai. Me cup. He's got a little hiding place for us. Don't worry. Yeah, in a cemetery, I bet. <laughs> Not funny. Hmm? <laughs> Please take a seat, Mr. Fletcher. Mr. Charlton will be with you in a minute. Thank you.
Oh. I'm sorry, but uh, when you said they were five hours late, I just had to see you. Six. Just call the base cap. No news. That can only mean one thing. They lost the helicopter. If it was mechanical trouble, they'd have radioed in. Does Brenner know? Yeah. He feels guilty for having pushed Wesley into it. I didn't think he was that vulnerable. You don't know him like I do. No. The problem is to find out if they're still alive. Better dead than falling into Khan's hands. Well, that's why I think we should get to base camp. Give them a hand in case we have to. If there's any chance they're alive, I'll find them. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Don't worry. I come right back. What did you say? My dad. I'm heaven. No, not yet. Charge with a weapon, understand? What the hell is this? This boy told me who you are and what you want. I cannot turn you away. Thank you, Father. Nevertheless, I can only grant you and your men permission to enter this house of God without weapons. Sorry, but that's out of the question. I'll take my wounded elsewhere. <sighs> that's what I thought you'd say. Come inside anyway. With me. This way. This your flock? I doubt if there's a Christian among them. Mostly opium smokers on their last legs, refugees from the fighting, the poverty, slavery. From General Khan? These people don't have much choice. It's either work for them or side with the Khmer. One's as bad as the other. If anybody feels like praying, here's the place. I hear they've cornered quite a share of the market. You know, Captain, I like you now. I need your help. Would you hold this bottle? I... I said hold this. I said I needed your help. Now hold this. Don't make me angry. Step aside, son. Go on. My cousin has good news. Let's hear it. 
It's a nasty wound. At least I tried to sew it up. But I don't know. Did you make the rice yourself? Mm. That's very nice. Cradle snatcher. No, rice snatcher. <laughs> Anybody on guard now? One of your gorilla buddies. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh, well, they haven't done so bad. Yeah, except for the chopper. I never walked so far in my life. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Captain? This guy used to work for the rail line, Pecan, just before he took off. He says they use an armored train to move the opium. <laughs> well, they can use it for kiddie rides now. The opium is all gone. No. He says it's another train tomorrow morning at dawn. They have another depot up north. Hey, hey, Captain, just what are you thinking of? There's only four of us. With enough equipment and ammunition for two. Well, it's not an order. I'm looking for volunteers. I spray rice patties. I spray rice patties. Ten million dollars. A whole year's harvest check. You'll find them. And make it slow. I want them to suffer. And then, take pictures. Yes, sir. The DEA will get a reminder not to try this again. Yes, sir. I hope I can keep our buyers calm. How I hate those people. The world would be better without Westerners. Well, I hope you don't hate us, too. <laughs> we only have business relations. We don't have to entertain each other. <laughs> They must know who's in command. <laughs> Come on, it is time. <sighs> Ching, it's their head or yours. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I know everything about the general. He started repairing the old rail line a few years ago because the Khmer were ambushing his truck convoys. You're well informed. I should be. I came from Switzerland to build this church. And through the years, we've both heard and experienced many things. Every day, people come to this mission who have much to tell me. To tell me and him, even though they're not Christians, most of them. I don't know what I'd do without my cross. It gives me the strength and courage I need to help all the men, women, and children who come here. The majority of them are sick because they're dependent on the general's opium or because they have no hope left in life. Whoever refuses to go opium for the general has no chance of survival. Could you destroy the opium on the train without taking any more lives? That may be impossible, Father, but its destruction may save many, many lives. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll draw you a map. How's that? This is the river, okay? The bridge and uh, the rail line goes more or less like this. Just like your cousin said. Kaidong, good man, mm. no life. <laughs> you can call me Michelangelo. It looks like this. What time you got? 4.20. Should be coming through on the radio soon. I better check it out. It will be a miracle if you pick up anything on that old wreck. You'll never know. As long as your lord isn't hogging the airspace, we've got a powerful set of base cam tuning to our frequency. Hello, junk, junk. This is Wild Geese. Do you copy? Over. Hello, junk. This is Wild Geese. Do you copy? Over. Come down, young. Lost it, yeah? Got it, yeah? Good. Dee, lew. That's right. news? They'll never make it alone. What's important is that they try. Even if it means getting all of them killed? I'm sorry, but think of what's at stake. If that second depot is, is left alone, then destroying the first doesn't make sense. 
it'll just double the price of whatever opium is still available. That's why we must get it all. Look, we're all a bit tense. I'm sorry. But, yes, I agree with you. Do you think you can pull him out of that hellhole? Give me the green light, that's all. I'm ready, too. I told you the jungle is a very tough neighborhood, even for a young man. No, 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 no. I'll just leave the cavalry charge to you. <laughs> I'll just stay up at base camp with Baldwin. Baldwin? Yeah, well, he uh, represents Her Majesty's government, and I represent mine. And if we have to hollow to the ties for help, why, um, two voices are louder than one. If the pain is too much, you know what this is, don't you? Hmm? You trust me? We priests have a lot of faith. I could give it to myself instead of to him. Yes, you could. It's up to you to decide whether or not you'll try to get your act together. I'm not in the soul-saving business. Least of all my own. Mm. Well, who said it was lost? What is it, Samson? Close the gate! Close the gate! Quick! The gate! I must hide you. Follow me. Quick! Help me! Help me, Anne! Come on! Put him on the table. Easy. Come with me. Come. Help me with the mats. Quick! The pull is open. Get him in there. That's it. Get in with him. Hurry up! Stay down there. Go on the side door. Go yes, on. Father. It's too big. Habib. To what do we owe this honor? Six cents. About what? The inside of a church always smells like death to me. Ah, you would rather die outside with us? No, that's your privilege. I'll watch. <laughs> that structure's too strong for the plastic we've got. But it's still enough to make the train, say, disintegrate. Could you get on it? I'm sure I could, Captain. I'm sure I could get on it. OK. It's going to be a problem. The plastic we've got won't even bend it. Any brainstorms? The train. Even I figured that one. But how are you going to stop the train? Stick your thumb out? There's a point back there where it slows down. Our beeb is going to hop on it. And that's all? How boring. <laughs> if that damn drunk hadn't smashed the boat against the reef, I'd have been out of here ages ago. 
Well, at least he made it back. Ah, give him a break. I'm sure you have your own vices. <laughs> really? I'm pretty bored by so-called common vices. If that boat isn't fixed within an hour, I'm heading upstream on a junk. But where would you go? I mean, we don't even know where the damn place is. Well, I'm counting on Wesley to tell us. The radio link is in 45 minutes. Ah, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm... I'm so nervous. I get so muddled up, you know? But it would be a damn shame if you missed that rendezvous. I mean, for getting out there and blowing up that depot. Hello. Oh, Baldwin. It's all done. The cable has been fixed. You see? Now you know how to get there, Charlton. I always know how to get where I'm going. You've done enough. Let's go. No, Captain. I think I'll stay here. Captain! This wagon's on fire! It's full of dynamite! Come on, it's explosives. We've got to jump now. Come on, that's an order. Come on, I'll help you down. So long, Captain! Uh, I'll see you now! Are you okay? <coughs> Abib! Jump!
still alive. Get him down. Help! Get the nails out. After him, I want to see how Stone is. Are you okay? Father. Yes. Can you hear me? We need your help. Can you tell us where the train was headed for? Leave him alone. Why? He's dying and he knows it. Up forever. Near the falls. Transmitter. You know a place like that? Yeah, it's where the train was headed to load the opium. <laughs> There's a fort there. Tigers. Nest. Next time, Father, we're going to put you on our team. Wangis to junk. Can't risk interception. This is our last message. We're headed for the second storage area. Can't give exact location. Tell Charlton to meet us at Red Beak. Repeat, Red Beak. Over and out. Hmm. It's a code name. Wesley means the K-Dyam Falls. I don't see how he's gonna do it. And with what he's got. How is it possible? that an expert like Wesley can't give us the location of that depot. Are you kidding? In a hell like that, even an expert can be forgiven for not being perfect. Well... Right, Charlton? I'd better get moving. Sorry I can't go along, but I'll be with you every inch of the way. Like God. You better check your crew list. I don't think he's on it. Gentlemen, good luck. Charlton, whichever way it goes, I'm sure you'll get your reward. Save enough, but you can never tell. Keep it down.
You okay? I'm fine. You happy now? You've got everybody in your rotten little army functioning perfectly, including me. I understand what you're going through. Like hell you do, you son of a bitch. You don't give a damn about me. You just want to feel like you're doing a good job. That's good. At least your reactions are still normal. What's that supposed to mean? It means you're still alive. What do you care? I care. I once tried to save someone just like you. He was only a kid. Only a kid? Who was it? Get down! Ah! Ah! Mia, you make it on. Hang on, Mika, but you ma. And we've got no detective. I imagine secrecy is their only real defense. I wouldn't count on it. The approach must be full of mines. Fine. Come on. What about her? Huh? I don't want to stay here alone, that's for sure. Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> Is electrified. Looks like a minefield, all right. The place must be littered with them. One of us is going to have to go through it. We've got no choice. Klein. Yes, Captain? If anything happens to me, you'll be in charge. Come 
It's a bazooka. That was a close one. You don't say. You all right? Sure. We're only screaming to scare him. Yeah. Come on. Why did they stop shooting? Waiting for us to make a move. Shots came from the boat. Whose side is that guy on? You almost did it, Robin, but I'm the one who's going to enjoy the last laugh. I hate having to kill you. I always said you were the best. Keep him busy a while, Kip. Hey, Charlton! Can you hear me? I can hear you! To tell the truth, this comes as no surprise. Do you want to know when I found out what a two-faced bastard you are? If you're so intelligent, Robin, why did you sign your own death warrants by coming here? Go on, tell me. Tell me all about it. It's all on your friend Khan's computer disk. Is it now? It took me a while, but I put things together. You interested? Certainly, Robin. I'll give you one minute for your last cigarette. Khan sells opium to everyone, to you and the competition. That's why you rushed out here to stop us blowing this place. This is your depot. So far, so good, Robin. Simple matter of arithmetic, Charlton. Hey, why don't you plant one between his eyes? We're dead anyway. Fuel cans. Right. chance to show me you know how to fly, Travis.
Hey, I've never shot a gun before in my life. Well, pull the trigger. But please, don't point it at us. That's all there's to it. Easy as pie. Sure. Give it a go. Watch out for that propeller. Robin, yeah. there's a guard with a grenade. Come on, baby. Get some gasoline, it's over there. Damn it, some man's dead. Hey, there's some grenades. Bring them over. And the two trucks! Put them by the door. Get in number two. Let's go. Head for the door. Break it down. Step on the gas and then jump. Get set.
Let's get out of here. Stand clear. Jesus, Captain, if you don't want me to call Hong Kong, all you got to do is tell me. Oh, they're back. Who? Well, I don't know exactly. But they keep on yelling Wesley's name. Wesley. That's Wesley. Hell of a man. You can say that again. Come on, let's have a beer. Come on. How about now? <laughs> well, if he's going where I think he's going, then he's about to take one very hot potato off our hands. It's been a wonderful day, Miss Robson. <laughs> hey, what's going on here, huh? I'll drink to that. <laughs> Cheers. Yes, excuse me. Excuse me. But aren't you Archie Travers? People call me China. And you? Frank Fletcher, DEA. Mm -hmm. I thought I smelled something funny inside. <laughs> <laughs> you know Baldwin? Yeah. Well, I'm sure the colony has a need for experienced pilots like you, sir. Well, I was thinking about a desk job, like assistant to the governor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why not governor? <laughs> oh, 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 I like that idea. <laughs> I told you I'd be in my office. Keep trying. As soon as you hear from Charlton, tell me. Yes, sir. Robin. Charlton's dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. But at least you're safe, Robin. I killed him. He burned to death. Hold it. The red one. Yes, of course. The red one. I just wanted to talk to you undisturbed. How many times have you visited with me my son's grave, Brenner? How many times have you comforted me? And yet you knew. You always knew it was you that killed him. Robin, I... No, really, Charles was the one. I, I only did what I was told. I, I had nothing to do with it. The people who gave him the heroin were your people. Your men killed my son. Now, you wouldn't go personally to a school and sell drugs to children, would you? Robin, listen. There, there must be a way to make you understand that. It's almost impossible to get the men who count. But I've flushed one out, Mr. Brenner. I intend to kill him. Robin, you wouldn't do that. You're a soldier, not a murderer. St. John. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of judgment. I'm so sad. Thank you. You must be one hell of a poker player. That's all part of the business. You like your business? Well, I'm with the power. And the power is strong with the weak, and weak with the strong. A knock and a mercenary. 
Not very flashy champions of justice. And you know damn well who killed our symbol of social awareness. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, one of our dirtiest jobs. Preventing outraged citizens from taking the law into their own hands. Is any of it clean? And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.